Hey there, got a question from A2 about how to draw a boat. Um, so we've got his drawings here, which is top view and a side view, so a little bit to go off of. So kind of came through and went and drew the side view as well. And this is the actual circle here, so I'll go through. Try to drag this through and show you maybe what went through and did. So first thing, drew it on this plane, then the middle plane, and then did a couple of side features here. This is where he came in and made a 3D sketch. So let's turn off the bottom here. Show you a little bit easier. So I went ahead and found that center distance, made a 3D point, and then drew between the two. So that way when we sweep, it sweeps through the points. So it kind of gives you a better idea. That's what we're using. As far as here goes, offset the plane from there, and then lofted straight to there. Now each of these surfaces are all connected. Doesn't really matter as far as yet. Um, so then we're going to go to thicken it. Do this one at a time, make a new solid for the thickness. And that'll come in later as far as uh, what we do for our sheet metal. So now we have solid bodies and surface bodies. So we're going to turn all surfaces off. Now, this bottom one, we're going to kind of leave that one alone. Um, that'll need a little bit more special attention. But we're going to go to the Manage tab here and Make Components. So we're going to check all of our solid bodies here and it'll kick it out into an assembly so that way we have individual pieces for here so that way we can right click this and open it so now we have our cone here again if we want push this okay so go to our plane point Around the loops to there, there. Okay. So we can do a point from there to there to the center. Draw a sketch, project cut edges, finish the sketch. And it just makes us a couple of cut lines. So we can come back in, go to the environment, convert this to sheet metal. All right. We're going to rip this face along that line. Let's see. So now we have our cut in it, and let's look at our fat line. There we go. So now we have our flat pattern for our cone. Let's go to our fold apart. There we go. Come back into here, and you'll see that there's our line. Try the same thing with this one. Now you're going to have like an oblong shape here, so let's see if any of these actually pass through it. No. So that's where I'm doing these points. Select there, it'll get you a point. There, it'll get you a point. So that's all the way through the plane from there to there. Center point. And I'll make you a plane. Draw on there. Cut the edges. Finish. Environment. Convert to sheet metal. I'm going to rip this again along that point. So it rips it all the way down and create the flat pattern. 
So you have a flat end on here, and then you have your other end, which is curved. So when you come back, let's make sure we turn this stuff off. Come back, there you go. Now if you really want to get tricky with this, say, oh, I want it on this side. Okay, just come back over here, change the rip. So there. Okay. So go to the flat pattern, it's on that side. Um, that you can just take some stuff to set up. But So now you have your line on the inside. Just like over here. So you could make half of this and then mirror it, but um, for instance, like here. Just two our points from there to there. Actually select the part. So then you come up. There you go. Same thing with this, open this up. Center line here. Center line there. And from there. There we get a third point. There you go. And then let's So there you have it. Now you're getting all your flat patterns from here. So that way you know what to cut out. So we start with the part that's all services. Um, you could make components from here. Solid's easiest. Alrighty.